Recently, someone had mentioned to me about failure, feeling she was a failure in her application of science, perhaps feeling a failure in her rela- some of her relationships. And, of course, we talked about that, and I was thinking about failure in regards to Christian science. And, of course, failure would mean a selfhood apart from God, because God can't fail, therefore how can his likeness fail? It would be impossible, and Era would just like us to get discouraged. But I also thought there are two of my favorite quotes, one a familiar one of Thomas Edison when he was inventing the light bulb. He said, I have not failed, I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. (laughs) and the other one that I love is from Winston Churchill who says success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm (laughs) (laughs) and that word enthusiasm has its derivative in in thus God which is I believe Greek, Greek for God but anyway it stems from God and enthusiasm is to be infused with God's will and as we do that as we feel that it is God working through us and in us we can't fail and that enthusiasm just keeps bubbling up and so what if we might have a temporary setback or something didn't go just as perhaps we had outlined that doesn't mean to give up you just keep on going uh, with no loss of enthusiasm as Churchill said I often like to think of a little child learning to walk. They stumble, they fall quite a bit, but they don't say, okay, I'm not never going to learn to walk. They keep getting up and doing it again until they become its victor, its master. In um, Peter V. Ross's book, Lectures on Christian Science, he writes this about failure. A failure? How can I fail when God has provided a world of abundance and opportunity? How can I fail when God has a purpose for me which cannot be frustrated, a purpose which abounds in activity and wherein idleness and uselessness cannot enter? How can I fail permanently when regardless of apparent defeat or dismay, life is still before me with all its possibilities? So that's the truth. We have infinite opportunities every day. We just have to look for them and not lose our enthusiasm, uh, that sense of God with us. I thank God for the truths that I've learned in Christian science. I thank God for this wonderful meeting, uh, wonderful readings and music and testimonies. So grateful to be here with you all tonight.